So then, folks, welcome back to Town to Shine and Valerius. Hello, everyone. Hello, and pause. Let the Dirt's Villains go about their business, as always. Uh, right, I'm going to let them chill for a little moment whilst we say the Steam Sale. Well, the Steam Sunrise Adventure, Valerius. Yeah. <sighs> it's ruined. It's all ruined. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of going to be ultimately fair with the first ruining. Now it's just basically red team winning all the time. Yeah, it's sort of it got hijacked by as far as we, as far as everyone can tell, Reddit is the ones yeah. that started manipulating it so that everybody would win an alternating day. Yes, everyone would win twice during yeah. the entire summer. Steam. So then Valve tried to compensate for that, and now it's just red team winning every single yeah. day. It looks like they've abandoned the plan. Because by sounds things like you know Redditors have just gone back into red team, and let's face it, if everyone on Reddit bought ten points every day, yeah, like. In order to win the games in your wish list, everyone else would then just chip in ten points. Uh, the idea was kind of fun at first, yeah. and I think they sort of Valve sort of left the door open for people to ruin it by by having the ability to change teams and the yeah. ability to steal points and the ability to generate free points as well. So it's sort of uh, it, it, potentially it was quite good fun at first. I mean, the only thing is as well that in the long run they're still going to make money out of it. Because if you want oh, yeah. to steal points from someone else, you still have to buy a token or buy the cards to craft them to make the token. I mean, let's face it, if you were relying on votes, I ended up now with nine number one cards from the mm. votes. It's like, I've got no other cards except one, and it's nine of them. It's like, <laughs> I wish I'd known that, actually. I needed a number one card the other wow. day. I was waiting for ages to get one at a decent price. Could have told me. Yeah. Uh, I've got them in abundance now. I didn't realise you had nine of the bastards. That's the only one I've had trouble getting, but... Uh... Um, I used to have trouble getting three for some reason, yeah. and then it started just dropping all the time. I got quite an even spread recently over the last few. Um, right, the Dirt's Villains are still sent to this goddamn caravan, so until they finish that, I don't want to give them any more tasks. Yeah. Once it's done, we've got a lot we want to get on with. There's hauling to be done, there's tunnels need mining out, um, and there's things to be made, projects to work on, but shall we stop selling things to caravans temporarily? It might be helpful. We don't need the cash, yeah. and it seems to be it seems to be holding us up all the goddamn time. I mean, the main reason why we originally started it was just because of the fact we had more mud than we knew what to do with. We didn't have enough places to put the mud. That and the so fact that we, we wanted we wanted to save up towards the headmasher, which yeah. we eventually got. You know what I mean? And now it was just kind of buy all the awesome weapons, yeah. which we have done, and the rogues are now equipped with them. So. Exactly. There's one or two weapons that still really. haven't appeared yet, but I think forty grand is going to be more than enough to buy those. Yeah. Um, lightning is one of the ones we haven't found yet. Uh, that one, the lightning. The lightning. Mm. And this one, the flaming death, we haven't found. Ah. Um, was that all of them? Was there another one? Uh, I think that's all of I them. I think that was it, yeah. I think that's the only ones we haven't actually found. Um, and I think we found all the armors. I don't think there was another one. Let's have a quick scan. Uh,. I think the only special armor was Mask of the Beast. Mask right? of the Beast. Oh yeah, oh. Iron Breastplate. We haven't had a divine Iron Breastplate. Uh, no, we We've had a Blessed that. Breastplate, yeah. a Fire Breastplate, Mask of the Beast, Mask of the Pig Slayer, um, but not this divine Iron one. So that's the only Breastplate we haven't found. Was the Pig Slayer rare? I'm sure we got. Uh, it's a dungeon drop. Oh it's, yeah. I, I don't. Uh, you might come in the shops as well, but it, it was mainly dungeon drops yeah. we found that in. I was going to say, because I'm sure we found one ages ago, because Francis was wearing it for yonks, wasn't he? Yeah. But other than that, I think we've had everything. So it's like, we don't really need to save up that much cash anymore. I don't know how much the lightning and the flaming death will cost, but we'll worry about that when we eventually find them. 12p. Uh, 12p. <laughs> so this is Valve's on the sale. Yeah, let's buy them off the store. What do you think to the new auction system on the store, then? On the uh, Well, on the, on the community market, I should say, not the store itself. To a degree, I kind of like it. Just because of the fact that I can order a quantity of nine cards at a certain price I would like to pay. Yeah. And every time it goes down there, it will give you the cards if you've got a higher quantity than I someone else. I think it's interesting as well to see the gulf between the sell price and the buy prices. Yeah. For example, um, I've been waiting for a while. I've got three Monster Loves You foil cards, right? And there's yeah. two left to get. But those two, because they're quite rare... They're on the store at uh, something like one ninety nine and three forty seven or something. It's yeah. ridiculously high, and there are no buy orders at all except for mine. One buy order at fifty p, which is what I paid for the other three cards. Yeah. So it's like these people who've had those cards on sale for like 
over six months now and have not sold their cards at all can now see that the only person waiting to buy that card is willing to pay 50 pence. Now, see, the other thing that he should do, really, is if you have a card or something that you've put into the sale thing ages ago, it should probably email you and just remind you yeah. every now and then. So that is people who put their cards in for, like, 60 quid when it first comes out, because it's the first card ever, yeah. and it never gets bought, and they leave it in there on 60 exactly. quid, they forget about it. But I'm hoping these people are going to see that, like, they're not going to get £3.47 for that fucking card, because I'm just not willing to go that yeah. high. Maybe they'll bring it down a bit. Maybe they'll bring it down a bit, and I'll decide their, you know, their price is reasonable. Yeah. But uh, at the moment, at least they can see... You know, my it's, it's like making an offer. It's yeah. like they're going three forty seven. I'm going well, no, fifty <laughs> p. <50p. laughs> Come back to me with something else. Not a penny less. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of cool in that respect. Hopefully, it will increase the amount of things being sold because there's probably a lot of shit like that that's just sitting on the market not getting sold. Yeah. Because nobody else wants that card. Interestingly enough, as well, I found a post on the Steam forums where people were saying that. Um, when they've got their wish list, like stop for the games, they quite like being emailed about each game that is on offer on their wish list. Yeah, and they were said uh, recently that seems to have stopped, and it just now says a game on your wish list is on offer, and it emails them every now and then. Thing is, the it doesn't even work. The last time I got an email from Valve saying a game on my wish list was on offer, it's for Uplink, which I then checked yeah. the store and it wasn't on offer, and I was like, well, why email me and tell me it's on offer if it's not on offer? Well, this is the thing. When I um kind of looked at that, I was like. Well, I don't really want them to email me constantly, because I've got maybe seven or eight games that are constantly going on to deals for 10% off. Yeah. And it's like, I don't really want to be told when it's 10% off. It's like, a, a, ideally, I don't want to email yeah. them every time I buy a goddamn card as well, because yeah, I end up clearing that's... out, like, hundreds of emails. That of, well amazing. done, you bought a card on the community market. And it's like, yes, I know, I bought it. <laughs> I remember doing this. <laughs> what they should do is possibly just, like, wait amount of time between it, and then say you bought this many items from the community market. Yeah. So, like, after you buy that first like card... Everything you, you buy hour, in a particular yeah. hour, yeah, in an hour, that would, so that would be better. If you went on and bought 200 cards in an hour, it would then email you afterwards and yeah. say, you bought these. You the bought these 200 items, yeah. Shows you all 200. That would, that would be a much better way of doing it. Uh, just like, as well, I don't like having to tick the fucking box every time I buy a card. Every yeah. time you click to buy a card, it's like, you you know, you have to tick the little box that says, I agree to the scenes. It's like, yes, I agree to this. I've agreed to it thousands of times. Yeah. Can't I just have one tick box? For the day, maybe. Ask me once per day. Or maybe just, you know, a tick box for your profile so you can just tick it and go, yes, I'm okay exactly. with anything Steam does to me. Well, the other good thing about the auction system now is that um, it takes away the fact that I used to, like, I'd go in to buy a card and by the time I click the box and then click the tick box, some bugger's bought it. You know what I mean? Whereas yeah. this way, you put your order in so that you're not having to deal with that all the time. Because last summer sale, buying cards was almost impossible because they were flying out faster than you could load the page. Exactly. Plus, it gets to the point where you go buy a card now, and you've noticed that people have little tricks on where they get cards. So, um, I was going to buy a Payday 2 card recently, yeah. and realised that every second card had been bought. Yeah. Every second card, though. Not like the first card, the third card, and so Well, I, I do that. I always yeah. go for the second one rather than the first one because of that system. Because and the first card's usually been bought before you can click it. And now it seems to be that everyone starts doing that. <laughs> so now the first card is never fucking bought. So yeah. the person who's unlucky enough to put their card on as the first slot <laughs> is never going to get it sold. Well, I like the new system matching the buy to sell offers. It's much, it, it's much more streamlined. You know I think what I mean? The only thing that I'd like about it more was if some kind of email or notice went to the people who have put a card on that said, look, someone has put a buy order in for yeah. like 50p. Now you've got the closest price with like £3.49. Want to yeah. drop it down to 50p in order to sell your card? Or at least, you know, at least yeah. drop it down somewhere close. Or would you like to rearrange your price or uh, anything like that? It'd be quite nice. It would be quite nice. It could also, as well, mean that if someone dropped down their card, like, you would get an email back, and they'd say, like, right, so this person's been emailed asking them to drop down their price, and they've gone from £3.50 to a quid. Yeah. Would you now like to buy it? <laughs> and you're like, well, it's 10p more, but go on then. Yeah, it would be, it would be nice, wouldn't it? It needs yeah. a little bit more tweaking, I think. It needs to be more to kind of like useful. a market. Yeah. in a market, you don't just walk in and go, I would like this card for 50p, and everyone just ignores you. Yeah, exactly. Until eventually someone comes along and goes, oh, look, there is actually a buy order. Because this is the other thing. These people that have had those cards on sale yeah. for months probably are not going to check that page anytime soon. And it's taken out of your um, inventory, so you don't realise that. Right, the caravan's gone. Yeah. Um, 
so what what is the next order of business at the moment they're hauling which is fine how's, we want them to do that how's food going by the way food looks good there's, there's just, lots of it there's just that little yeah well they'll, as we as we talk now they'll start cooking that up now that they're not yeah. carrying stuff to the caravan 56. 56 that's not bad but we've got full sets of raws yeah so that's fine thing is even raws they're going to have to cook it they can't just eat raw meat um i think they can actually but it doesn't matter. Uh, no, I They'll be cooking it anyway. There's plenty of cooked stuff. What, what if they get salmonella? Um, right. Craig Gumasol did want us to mine out corridors on level minus 12. I also do want to finish this. Yeah. We're sort of halfway through doing that. How much stone have we got? Um, 12 tea. 12 tea? 12 tea. 12 tea stone. No, we've got 382. <laughs> 12 tea. <laughs> okay, that is plenty of stone then. Shall I, shall I put build orders in to finish that wall off? Excellent tubs. We haven't sold a thing. <laughs> yep. Let's do it. That obscure reference. Some people might get it. Some people get it. Awesome British people will get it. <laughs> Especially awesome British people. Awesome. 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 British British money penny. Awesome. British money penny. Um, I forgot to hold shift. I wonder if I can... No. Ha. 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 It's been so long since we've actually built anything. It's like <laughs> completely forgotten how to do it. Especially like leaving that one block so they don't just get stuck on the roof. Yeah, yeah, roofing this is yeah. going to be annoying. Um, I take it we're not going to bother putting another floor on it at any point. I don't really think we need to. Because I don't know if the town's When do we get our anymore. next hero? I can't remember when we got the first heroes, to be honest. We've got one spare That's room. Strong. We've got six heroes, which is we've got 36. Th we've got 37 people. So square root, what's seven squared? 49. 49 citizens is our next one. We've got 37. That's yeah. 12 citizens away. It's possible, but that, as I say, we've got room for one more hero Thing anyway. Is, we've got a dwarf as well, meant to be coming. Yeah, I think... And we've got a Highlander room still. Do we need... Uh, the thing is, we've got a tavern room down there. We've never had a dwarf. Do you think we need to put a piece of tavern down there to make it into a tavern? Maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's something I mean, we can consider once you could, we've... You could always try it. And the other thing is, as well, is like, you know, we will just get barbarians anywhere, and they'll just keep dying until we get the hero we want. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. The the hero turnover for the yeah. shit heroes is pretty good. Yeah, I mean... Because rogues need a room, but If we were to put them, doors here, and, just and then just the make that into tavern, do you think that would be enough? I mean, yeah. I, I also don't know if this tavern room is necessarily large enough to constitute being a tavern room. Oh, it probably is. Um, dwarves live in small rooms anyway. They're only yeah. small... I, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll put in orders for a couple of doors, uh, which are furniture, obviously. Your favourite furniture. Yeah, let's get a couple of doors in. Uh, there. You know when you build a no. house and you put a roof on it, could you just have it one high? Could we just have it one high? Like if you just built a wall around it and then a roof straight on top of that, instead of doing too high. Because technically in the dungeon, that's what it is, isn't it? It's just one Yes, hand. you could. However, look how stupid the doors would look. Well, you, you know that um, basically you would end up with... Where's the where's the floor with all the doors on? I was going to say, do they specifically Is need minus doors? Minus six, yeah. Is having a door what makes a room? Because if not, you could You'd just... You'd get walk. weird things like this where the, it would be poking up out of the roof. Do you need to have a door on it? Um, well, how are they going to get in otherwise? A gate. A gate is half a block, oh, That would look awful, though. I don't know. I mean, have you seen it looking with a fence, considering it looks so shite with I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to fucking scrimp on uh, on cosmetics for Larius, really. At this, at this stage, well, it it's mean, like, what's the point? It would mean we could have billions of civilian uh, citizens moved in really fast. Uh, well, we do that anyway, because you can move them in without even having the roof, That's as terrible. we still have on... On uh, on these ones here, where they're just one block high anyway. Well, we did actually build that up to two <laughs> blocks, but you get my point. We moved them in yeah. when it was only one block high anyway, so it still counts as a room. So the, it doesn't the actually matter. Thing, the coolest thing in this would be building like a. Proper... It's just look 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 how big the doors are. So imagine the roof is above the door. Like I said, though, you put a gate instead, like a gate. <sighs> it's a, I so think look, it, it would look... be the gate would be exactly. 
on the walls. It will look shit. I think that gate looks quite nice on that. Uh, and the town is a slightly higher than one block, so they're going to look weird as they walk in because they're a block and a half tall. Admittedly, they would. Well, look a weird. block and a quarter tall. They they would look weird, and the clocks would look weird, and everything like that. Yeah, everything. All the furniture, bird cages would just stick out the yeah. roof. It I would mean, look very it odd. It would be quite funny to a degree as well. <laughs> <laughs> It would be. I don't want to do it. I want to stick with our standard too high. It then looks better. That brings me on to my second oh, look thing. This guy is doing it, Valerius. He's building a block. We, um... The first block to be placed in many episodes. Oh, and he's been beaten to the punch by this guy. <laughs> <What? I laughs> he even took block, his yeah. hole. It was like, no, that was my hole. What we could do <laughs> is build like a massive inn. That would be awesome. Well, Not have an inn, an actual house inn, like loads of little houses on top of each other. Apartment block, that's the one. Well, that's sort of what... We we, we mentioned doing this over here, didn't we? Did we? We I mentioned, we we mentioned taking out a block of road and putting a vertical ladder up to a second floor with more houses, which is essentially what you're, what you're saying. I mean, obviously, you're on about on a much bigger scale. Oh, yeah. But And uh, that would look weird with the rest of the town, if you look at it. Uh, it might look it weird. Would go one higher, and where are the doors going to be? They'd have to walk through each other's bedroom to get to the very end. Unless you had like a little veranda. Yeah, that's the true. Front. That is true. What I'm thinking of is, is having a square room like you've done the tavern, but having a little pathway in the middle, so like little hallways. You would have to have a second floor. Yeah, that's with a the second idea. hallway running along it. That is oh, that's such a huge job. That is a massive job. Maybe we could but consider that after we've built the Badger Arena. The thing is, you could build it upwards and just keep going. The rooms would oh, all yeah. be in the same place, so we'd know where the rooms were going. Well, you say that, but you can only go up 12 layers anyway. That's going to be at least three or four floors. Three right? floors. Three floors. Yeah. Because you've got one high. <laughs> 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 the tiniest of <apartment laughs> <Yeah>. whatever. <laughs> Well, the better thing to do would be to like excavate a huge chunk of map and build something lower down that rises up, like a you know, a, like a, if a we dug next to where that dungeon is and made it in the dungeon. Exactly, because you, you could essentially open all this up yeah. and like you know get down to here and like build from here upwards. You know what I mean? Gives you more layers. I'd imagine that's the ultimate late game thing is to excavate all the dungeon and that would be pretty cool as well because you'd have people sleep in the very skyscrapers. bottom of the dungeon. Which they'd be close to the dungeon to do stuff down there, but they'd also be further away from the food, which would yeah. be really annoying. Well, you would move your whole town into the dungeon. It's a shame. It's, <laughs> It'd be it's difficult, a shame. but you could do it with it's enough a shame time. This doesn't work like Tropico, <sighs> and you could just kind of have grocery stalls set up where people hand out food. Right. I was going to say I thought I'd spot someone idling then, but he's not. Um, no, he's people just, uh, are still cooking. He's probably just farting about. Farting about. <laughs> just farting about. Uh, they're cooking, which is good, and building stone walls, which is good. How much beef? 84. Yeah, they're getting that cooked up nicely. Yeah, good. Right, I'll let them finish this wall, and then we'll, go, and then we'll go have a look in the dungeon at the thing. I'm really chuffed with that. The tunnels. <laughs> really chuffed, are you? Yes, I'm really chuffed. 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 So, I know it's a little bit early in the year for this, Valerius, but I think I found my game of the year 2014. <laughs> I'm wow. just going to throw that out there right now. Very serious contender. You know what, what? game it is, don't you? Uh, no, I'm concentrating on that brick that looks weird. I know it looks weird. It will look it less looks weird. so weird. <laughs> Why is the door gone missing? It's just, it's just because it that. undraws the door. That looks awful. Yeah. That's so hideous. I know it's because we sh it's because it's over in the corner. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Never mind. It will look oh, fine. That looks so ugly. So yeah, game of the year 2014. Tom had that's your life. Oh yes, I'm absolutely right. loving it. I'm absolutely loving it, Valerius. It's such a good game. I would love it if it was built by someone other than Nintendo. Oh, Ooh, burn! Well, <laughs> maybe EA, for example. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, you laugh about that. But the other day, I noticed on Time Splitters Future Perfect, there was an EA symbol. Yeah. And Time Splitters are arguably one of the best FPSs I have ever played, and still stands as one of my favourite FPSs. It wasn't an FPS, it was a third person over the shoulder FPS, wasn't it? Fairly sure you could play FPS. I think the virus it's game was FPS. It's been years since I've actually played it. It was, it was fun. But it, I wouldn't say it was amazing or anything. <laughs> See, half of the internet would disagree with you. <laughs> 
It was all right. It was all right. We had a lot of fun playing Time Splitters. I love Time Splitters. I but, I mean, you, a... you've got to look at the other thing as well. Is like, what happened to the multiplayer servers? Hilarious. <laughs> they didn't have any? They got shut down. Didn't know they had After, any. like, a year in, um, yeah. Well, they got bought out anyway, which is why Time Splitters 4 sucked so much ass. Yeah. Well, it never even came out, as far as I know, Time Splitters 4. It was um, rumoured to be coming out, like, billions and billions of times, and then eventually someone finally spoke to them. And they said, um, the big problem with it is marketing, because they can't just put one character on the cover. And marketing nowadays is you put the character on the cover that is like the main central part of the game. There isn't a character that's the main central part of the game. Well, well, yeah, you just put a few of the different characters on. That I don't a, see why that that's a problem. Quote. That sounds like the most that was bullshit a quote excuse. from Wikipedia as well. Oh, right. The, well, guy, well. the guy who was um, apparently behind all of it and everything and said that the marketing department just didn't like it kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you remember, Time Splitters Future Perfect had just one character. It was like Cortez or something on the front. It was like a really lame character no one actually liked. And like, um. Thing is that. I just thought I would really understand why they wouldn't just be able to do it now. The characters were pretty much just girls with big tits, ultimately. It's like there was very little depth to them was, beyond that. There were some other ones. There was like a squid and things like that. I think my favourite was just like the gameplay modes. There was just so much fun. Putting a proximity down, mine down in front of you and then sitting on a really hard to get to ledge while the virus was coming and everything and you just kept blowing people up. Mm. That was tons of fun. That was the kind of thing but, that I really enjoyed. Yeah. However, it's like... It's basically that's been surpassed by things like Team Fortress, Gary's Mod. Well, even then, it's like Team Fortress doesn't have enough game modes for me. I can go on and play it, and it can be casual. I could just go shoot some people and such. But it has got to the point where it's like, other than just going on and shooting people and always being behind on the items now because everything relies on crates. What? Yeah. What is the? <laughs> I must honesty. admit, I haven't played it for a while. Well, they've brought out crates now that you can actually like shuffle through and get the items you want, and it's like. <sighs> What? I think I've, I've given up on the items for TF2. It's like, there's that many of them now, it's like, it's just lost all sort of interest for me. And the last few updates that have expanded the gameplay have mainly been based around Man vs. Machine, which I don't like because it's shit. So it's like, there's nothing to really rekindle my interest in it, you know? But this is the thing. Time Splitters, because it had different game modes, yeah. was the kind of thing that I enjoyed. I mean, TF2 tried it with that Man vs. Machine thing that you just mentioned. The zombie like, thing was, was good. Rubbish. Where you had to infect everyone, but then yeah, again, the virus thing, where yeah. everyone was glowing green, and basically you didn't die after that. You just had to keep running at them. Yeah, but I mean, if you remember, that was also pretty much how uh, Zombie Panic worked, yeah. which was a Counter Strike mod. But then Zombie Panic didn't just have a shooter. This is the thing. People yeah. have tried to do. It the was same essentially thing as just that mode. Yeah, they've tried to do the same thing as Time Splitters, but it had so many game mods, and the characters were actually quite cool. I mean, Viola being that jester. Yeah. She didn't have massive See, tits compared to some What I would like is, uh, d this is what, this is where you've taken me to now, Valerius. Imagine a game, right? That's like, sort of like, like as fun to play as TF2 with uh, the, the amount of game modes as time splitters yeah. with the character cast of Dota. I don't know. Hundreds of awesome characters. Oh, yeah. If you mean just like hundreds of characters. Yeah, not the yeah. specific Dota characters. Like a whole had, new I batch. I meant like fantasy type characters. No, it's no, like no. I just want kind of hundreds of different characters. Yeah, yeah. Like Time Splitters yeah. had a lot of different characters, but like just like loads of well designed characters, loads of game I mean, modes. Something like that would is, be incredible. The other issue is nowadays that they brought it out with like over 40, 50 characters in. Nowadays, mm. you'd get 10 and they'd go, DLC. You yeah. Don't take characters. DLC. Don't take characters. <laughs> Just milk the living shit out of it. Yeah, I hate stuff like that. Mm. It would be really annoying. There we go. Brilliant. On terms of actual games that you'd like to see as well, I want another game that was like, um, I think it was Empire Earth 2. <laughs> Empire were, Earth 2? It was a real-time strategy game where you advanced through the eras. Oh, yeah. And it was like you started out as little cavemen, you could have little club wars against the AI. <laughs> But then eventually, like, one of you was just going to outspec the other, and, like, you'd just go in there with UFOs and beam his people up, and probe them, and then pull them back <laughs> down, and he'd have no idea. And it's like, it just got quite silly and funny, but it's the kind of thing that I'd still like to see nowadays. Yeah. Like, even if they took it into a building scenario as well, like, building through the ages, because people have tried building through the ages, and it just doesn't really work to a degree. I mean, I kind of like, you know, 
to have these people build little mud huts and eventually get to like the Renaissance area where there's shit getting thrown out of windows and such, <laughs> and then building yourself like a nice little plumbing plant somewhere, and suddenly now you have toilets and yeah, sort of yeah, <sighs> halfway between sort of Civ and Sim City. Yeah, yeah, going through all the eras and being able to build and upgrade your city over the years, but also like I like the ability to have like a mud hut just in the middle of town, <laughs> so there's still some people living in a really crappy mud hut that does not upgrade. <laughs> 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 yeah, I see what you're saying. That's oh, the kind man. of thing that I've wanted for ages. Yeah. That's the thing, it's like, there's been so many generic sort of games, it's like every game's just a copy of the summer previous, you know what I mean? It's like, and it's so rare you get something genuinely new and exciting. You end up with just DLC just coming into everything nowadays. And if it's not DLC, then it's early access, so it's just buggy as crap and just not finished. Yeah. Yeah, the early access thing is getting ridiculous now. I mean, it works with some games. I mean, I, I loved getting the fact we got in on the ground floor in Town of Salem. That was brilliant. The most interesting thing is I got told by Kickstarter the other day to go look at 100 games that have been kickstarted. Yeah. Among these games were some games that have been uh, kickstarted, reached three times the amount they asked for, and then have immediately gone on Steam with it. Yeah. Which, to me, is just a sellout. <laughs> it's like, you just asked for a certain amount of money, you got three times that amount from your Kickstarters, then have put it on Steam anyway, in order to get more money. It's like, just build the game for a little while, then go into Steam. Everyone who kickstarted it gets a nice long run before it as well. Yeah. And that's uh, that's the other thing. It's like, some of these games seem to like, they come out on early access, and then it seems yeah. there's been very little progress whatsoever. Some of them as well, though, are made by people who don't know how to kind of, you know, code and sort of... <laughs> people who have no like, idea yeah. how to make a game, they've just come up with the concepts and gone, here we go. Cool. Well, this is the thing, now on Greenlight there is just concepts as well, have you seen oh, yeah. those? You know what's on the concepts, don't you? What? The next Time Splitters game? What? <laughs> really? <laughs> Apparently a fan-based product as well, <laughs> that um, the people who made the old Time Splitters have give all the stuff to... Yeah, um, They've said you can take all the old models and everything like that if you want, but they've uh, opted into making their own models and such. Oh, wow. I'll have to have a look they've at said, that afterwards. Um, there's no ETA at the moment, when it's going to take absolutely ages, but yeah. there's hopefully going to be 6 to 18 players online modes on PCs, and it's going to try and range out to PS4 and Xbox if it has it. That'd be quite interesting. Yeah, it does Cross actually platform sound pretty good, yeah. But obviously it depends on how long they're going to take at doing it and what's it going to be like kind of thing. Oh my god, there's one more block to come. Who's built? There it is. Oh, it's done. I feel um, like I feel like we've achieved something ooh. when this last block goes in. Please don't get trapped up there. No, you fucking idiot! You have, you've you god you damn it! Said they need to fucking mute here. I should have known, Valerius. Well, if I were you, I'd build a ladder to get her down before she starts starving. Well, I'll put two blocks of scaffolding down, see if that's enough for it to get back down. Should be. Oh, every goddamn time! <laughs> you should learn your lesson. Look at it! Look at it stood up there, like, oh, hello! Hello, I put the last block on! Can well, anybody hear me? Worse is, it's not that high. She could jump down from <laughs> well, there and suffer a little bit of damage and go to the fucking medical go. center. Here we go, Gandalf's come to save her. Admittedly, we don't have any uh, medical people, so... Hey! Okay, I might as well leave that scaffold in there, because we'll need it when we do the roof anyway. Indeed. So, we did it. We've actually done it. We've got the second floor built on the tavern. Oh my god, that's been a long time coming. It's done. It's, it's finally done. Quickly check the meat situation. Good on raws, and we're good on roast. We're back up on the meat situation. They should be hauling everything now. Uh, tunnels, I guess, next episode. Yeah. Line out those tunnels for Craig. Um, and then and then I guess we're going to want to roof this off. And possibly That'll roof be the nice. if we get enough time. Yeah. Get two buildings I sort of, I want to get this roof next, because it's yeah. like it's in the middle of all the roof stuff. It looks a bit shit. Yeah, well, we'll get that roof, then possibly the tavern, then the back row of houses. Yeah, Necromancy Row. Yeah. And that's been a long time coming as well. Okay, cool. Right, well, we'll leave it there, Valerius. So if you want to say bye-bye to everybody. Bye-bye. See you next time, folks.